Hi guys and welcome to my video Fauser Shape Modeling Tips and Tricks. I'm Michael from Virtual Shape Research and here I want to point out some advantages of the VSR Shape Modeling plugin compared to the regular Rhino workflow. In addition to that I will also show you some more or less hidden features of the tools you might not know about yet. So let's say I want to create a blend surface between these two surfaces. I'm starting Rhino's blend surface and select the edges. Chosen continuity is G2 and I have two form sliders. I can only see the control points at the edges though the inner ones are missing. So I can use the form sliders but I have actually no feedback about the shape of the surface. When trying to use the zebra function of Rhino this is cancelling your current command. So I'm starting the blend surface again and just create a surface with the default parameters. But if I analyze the surface later on with the zebra function of Rhino, you can see the result is not satisfying. The lines are running wavy on the surface I have created. This can also be checked with the light lines analysis of the VSR shape analysis toolbar. Letting them run horizontally, you can see clearly a wave in the surface. By the way, sometimes the light lines can look angled. This is due to the fact that they are based on the Rhino mesh. If you increase the quality of the mesh settings under tools options, the light lines look nice and smooth. Alright, let's come back to the unwanted shape of this surface. When checking the transitions with the global matching analysis, you can see the surfaces are perfectly matched. They are even nearly G3 without having used that option. So even the blend is mathematically correct, it doesn't look right. Having a look on the amount of control points, you can guess that modifying the blend afterwards isn't an option. So all you can do is creating the blend again and again, hoping to find the right shape. I am moving the surface to a separate layer to be able to compare the results afterwards. Ok, so let's do the same using VSR shape modeling functions. I'm starting surface blend, selecting the edges and hit apply. You see all control points are displayed and the created surface has only the really needed amount, which is 6 in each direction for this case. In the shape options you can switch on or off the shaded display of the surface and the control points. The big advantage of shape modeling functions is that you can run several of them at the same time. This way you can use light lines while still being in the blend function. Getting the direct feedback of the shape of the surface I'm creating, I can use the form sliders to achieve the wanted flow of the light lines. This way I don't have to iterate the use of the function, the first surface I'm creating is already the wanted one. But even if I have to change the surface later on, this can be done easily as the number of control points is very limited. Ok, let's put this surface on a separate layer too, so I can change between the display of the two surfaces I have created. I will call this VSR blend and change the layer. Alright, activating the light lines again. Turning on and off the display of the VSR blend, you can see the difference between the two surfaces. So, next thing I would like to show you is several functions of the shape modeling toolbar working together. I'm creating a surface blend again. By the way, a lot of VSR handles have a context menu on the right mouse button, so you can change parameters directly. I'm activating light lines and while still being in the blend function, I am modifying the input by using the function control point modeling. I want to modify a single control point in normal direction starting with the mouse move scale of 1. The blend and the light lines update immediately on my modification, but as you see, already small changes have a great impact on the light lines. 
So I'm changing the mouse move scale to 6 and now the control point modification is divided by that amount allowing smaller and more precise changes. That's it for this video. If you want to give it a try you can download a free 3 week test version from www.virtualshape.com. Have fun and thank you for watching.